What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Pabs, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button and be notified for future readings. This is for general practice reading for Sonic Capricorn. If this can resonate, if you have Pabs in any aspect to your charts, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Hamer, Jupiter, Charts, Stuff to the Basics, Time is Fluid, Energy is Fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys so very much from the bottom of my heart chakra. I do, I do, I do, who. Um, this is free general collective reading, so please only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Okay? I love you guys so much. Uh, thanks for all the new subscribers, and thanks for all the donations to my channel. I've received several donations in the past week, so thanks so much for all the donations and love and support to my channel. Um, all the shares of my content on the channel really helps um, on social media and word of mouth really helps um, it get around to people that do not know about my channel. So thanks so much for all the love and support. I really, really, really appreciate it. Okay. So I received a couple channel messages as I was meditating on your energy, Capricorn. Um, the first one I heard, um, a Capricorn is has been highly contemplating telling a feminine energy um, the truth. Um, I heard one, you're highly contemplating it, one uh, series of chain of events in the universe is about to force you um, to make a decision to tell. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates. I don't know. So there's at least two of you. So both of you, you're highly contemplating, i.e. highly really, really thinking about telling a femme energy, you can be masculine or feminine, you can be masculine or femme, but the person you're planning on telling is a feminine energy. So you're highly thinking about whether you're a man or woman over here, thinking about telling a feminine energy the truth. Now, whatever the truth is and how that resonates and applies for you, okay? One, you're highly, highly, highly thinking about it. One, there are a series of chain events that are about to be created in the universe to force you to tell the truth to the femme energy. So that hasn't happened yet. But something, for one, you're just really, really highly thinking about telling the truth. Whatever that is. One, there's a series of chain of events upcoming in the universe that's going to force you to tell the feminine energy the truth. So whatever that is and how that applies, that hasn't happened yet. Okay? How that resonates and applies. Okay? You can be man or woman over here in these situations. But it's a feminine energy you're going to tell the truth to. And there was another one, and I forgot it, but if I remember it, I'll tell you. Spirit messages you have was like this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The other one. Oh, power moment. So that could be a possible. Um, that could be a positive or negative power moment. Power moment. Same saying. Positive or negative for you or somebody you're connected to. Um, or maybe you have addictions or somebody you're connected to has addictions or you're emotional over a person, people, place, or situation or somebody else's. Um, but, okay. So the other one was. Um, oh, crap. I forgot it. I forgot it. Ugh, hold on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, a Capricorn is about to come out of a mental funk, funk. I heard a huge mental funk. They're about to snap into reality, and I heard they're about to get busy. So whatever that is, um, whatever get busy is, and how that resonates to you. Uh, it sounds like one of you guys are in some kind of mental funk right now, in some shape, form, or fashion, like a mental fog, a mental funk, or something. And... Um, there are many series of chain events you're about to snap out of it. So snap out of it. And um, I heard once you snap out of it, you're about to start getting busy. Now, whatever that is, that could be physical activeness or communication or communication and physical activity or whatever that is and how that applies in your life. Cup, you should accept valid criticism. Spirit messages here. Like this. Lily, spiritual love, 
Grasshopper, situation in the balance that requires careful handling. For some, you can be dealing with an air sign or water sign. If you are, they can have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Wolf, Moon, Midheaven, and Jupiter charts, if you are. A Capricorn is about to identify a very highly manipulative Libra. A very highly manipulative Libra. About to turn the tables on this Libra. Okay, so one of you guys is about to identify a very highly manipulative Libra. Libra in energy. Mask or can Libra. They can have Libra in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or can be Jupiter charts. Um, I heard you're going to turn the tables on this Libra. So, however, you're going to turn the tables and transmute the energy on this Libra. Okay? Uh, they can have Libra in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or can be Jupiter charts. Mask or can Libra. Um, 29, number 29 can be a very significant number, number 29. Um, but it's some kind of highly manipulative manipulative Libra energy, mass or fam. They can have Libra in any aspects of their charts, but you're about to identify them. I think you're going to use your intuition with the spiritual love card. You're going to use your intuition, your insides, um, what your gut tells you, spiritual downloads tell you if you receive spiritual downloads. And if you don't, just your intuition, what your gut and intuition tells you about this Libra, and you're about to turn the tables on them. For some, it could be communicating with that them energy that you were highly thinking about communicating with. Maybe this Libra doesn't want you to. I'm not sure. Only you know your story and situation, not anybody else. But you're about to basically about to transmute, turn the tables on this Libra, Master Fan Libra. This could be your Libra for some. Cup, you should accept valid criticism. Unemployment fraud of the past is about to become significant for one Capricorn. For one, you're about to help bust the unemployment fraud. For one, you have frauded unemployment. Unemployment fraud is about to become significant for at least two of you. For one, you're going to help bust the unemployment fraud. For one, you have unemployment. You have frauded somebody's unemployment. So I think you stole somebody's social security number or green card number if you can use a green card number for unemployment i don't know i have social security number but how that resonates and applies what you only you know how you fit in the story did you fraud somebody's unemployment or did are you going to help um bust the unemployment so you might be an investigator um in this aspect if that resonates for you so accept valid criticism for the one that stole the unemployment um just saying just something you shouldn't steal from anybody um I mean, that's common sense. We're taught that when we're like two, three years old. And that's just the truth. So, and also in the other aspect with the investigator, you could be taking action against the person that um, um, stole the unemployment. A significant work evaluation is about to become very significant in Capricorn's life. And a significant work evaluation is about to become very significant in Capricorn's life. So some kind of significant work evaluation for one of you guys. So you can be masculine or feminine. It sounds like upcoming work eval. Um, so that could go positive or negative. But you do have the use to accept valid criticism. So I think there might be things they th um, say that you um, need to work on in your employment situation. Um... I don't think it's going to be like a A plus rating. Um, I think there will be something on there that you need to work on with the you should accept valid criticism um, is what I'm feeling. 
um, that you plug it in, how it resonates. Maybe for some you do get A++ ratings on your evals. But feel for a majority of you guys, you're not. You're gonna, there's going to be something on there that they're going to want you to work on with the you should accept valid criticism. But it's an upcoming work evaluation. It's about to become significant. And I do feel for some, there's going to be things they're probably going to tell you that you need to work on and you're not going to either agree with it or you're not going to want to, um, or it might disappoint you a little bit, possibly. But just remember, those kind of things on work evals, if they tell you you need to work on them or they feel you need to work on them, it does nothing, but it's supposed to help build you up. It's supposed to build you up as a person, make you a better person and employee and, um, it's supposed to build your overall person as a person. It's supposed to help you, like constructive criticism, if anybody, if that helps anybody. Lily, spiritual love. For one, your grades are not well. You're about to get a huge wake-up call and realize you need to work harder. For one, your grades are not well. You're about to get a huge wake-up call and realize you need to work harder. So somebody... Your grades, one of your Capricorns, uh, you're in school. Now, that could be a trade school, uh, Ivy League, a four-year college, a two-year, uh, whatever that is. Um, for some, you might even be in high school. I don't know. But um, you should be 18 plus watching this, just saying. But that's my disclaimer. But how that resonates, you are in school. But your grades are not well. I think you're about to check your grades and realize your grades are not well. And you're about to... Um, um, Take some action. I heard you're going to take some action, so that's good. And that could be the situation in the balance that requires careful handling. The grade's not well, and you need to be about to transmute the energy and turn it around in your favor by working harder on your grades. Um, whatever class or classes that is. For some, I feel maybe you were involved with that Libra, and they made your grades go down. And maybe that's why some of you guys are about to cut that person off, possibly. For some, the Libra is a community member. For some, they are your aunt. For some, they're a former community member. For some, the Libra is your aunt. So your aunt. For some, they are a former community member. For some, they are a current community member. So you plug it in how it resonates. For one, they are your friend. And for one, they are your friend. Um, but it sounds like they're probably friend of me energy. Just saying, just saying. So they come off like they're your friend, but they're really not. So, because true friends are loyal, honest, dependable, reliable, and they do what they say they're going to do, and um, they don't talk behind your back. If anybody needs to hear that, with the true definition of a true, true loyal friend. If they don't do those things, they're a friend of me. Just saying. Grasshopper situation, the balance that oh, I'm sorry, spiritual love. A Capricorn refused to believe a Leo had gifts, but they're about to realize they truly do. They have blocked this person, but they're about to come back and realize they were wrong. About to start watching them again. They have an online YouTube reading channel. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates, okay? So, Leo Finn, Tarot Reader. Um, and this is a Capricorn that has blocked you, Leo Finn, Tarot Reader. Um, maybe you're going to watch this uh, reading, Leo Finn, Tarot Reader. You're coming in strong. So, um, we've got the Capricorn that has blocked you, Leo Finn, Tarot Reader. Um, I heard they refused to accept that you had gifts. So, spiritual gifts, the spiritual love. They refused to accept that you had spiritual gifts in the past, ma'am. Um, you're Leo Finn, Tarot Reader. They were watching you previous, but... They're not watching you now, but through many series of chain events, they're about to come back and re-watch you. Um, I heard they refuse to believe you had gifts, but they know that you really do. It's just like, it's like um, repressal. It's like repressal energy um, and denial. It's like they want to deny and repress the fact that you have true spiritual gifts. They really know you do. So, and I think that's one of the reasons why they're about to come back and re-watch your channel. 
Um, so they're about to come rewatch back and rewatch your channel because they really do know you have spiritual gifts. So spiritual gifts, spiritual love. Um, and I think they know what you speak is the truth. Um, and that's another reason why they're about to come back. Because if they knew that what you were displaying or saying or whatever, whatever on your channel, because I heard it's a tarot reading channel, so you speak on there. Um, if they knew in the past it wasn't true, they just would have, I mean, they wouldn't even be thinking about you, is what I'm saying. But they are thinking about you because they know you are the real deal. They definitely know you're the real deal. And for one, they might actually reach out and tell you the truth soon. Okay, I heard they know you're the real deal, Leo Thin Tarot Reader. They know you're the real deal. And for one, they might actually reach out and tell you the truth soon. So I guess the truth that you are the real deal or some other kind of real truth. But they're not watching you now. They quit watching you. Um, they have blocked you. Um, so, but they're going to come back and rewatch you on your YouTube tarot reading channel, man. Um, spiritual love. They know you're the real deal. And for one Capricorn, they are really starting to think for themselves. One is about to start thinking for themselves. About to decide to just go strictly spiritual, no religion. Well, congratulations. So there's two of you in this aspect. One, you've already started independently thinking for yourself as far as religion and spirituality. You've already cut off religion. You're just, you've already went spiritual. So spirituality, spirituality in this aspect. Um, congratulations. For one, you're about to. So it sounds like you are religious right now. You, I think you might go to church or have, join some kind of religious organization or something. But you're about to start thinking for yourself. That could have been where the mind clouding was coming in here earlier too. Maybe for one. Uh, and you're about to make your own independent decision. When it comes to spirituality and religion and realize you don't want the religion part you just want the spirituality part like me because i'm just i'm just spiritual uh, spiritual i'm not religious i don't i'm not a part of any part of religious organization I have not been for a very 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 long time and it's been one of the best things that ever happened in my life and that's just the truth but that's just me i can only make my decision you know what i'm saying but you're about to make your decision to break away from some kind of religious organization and just go spiritual you haven't done it yet in this situation so you have to plug yourself in where you fit. But one of you, you already have. Um, and one, you're about to. So in this aspect, this is breaking away from spirituality, I mean, from religious, religious organization or a cult or a whatever, whatever, whatever. And you're, you've already done it for one. For one, you're about to. Breaking away from the religious organization or sect or cult or whatever. And about to break away. So you can be religious and spiritual or just spiritual. Like me, I am just spiritual. I don't do the religious organization, cult, sect situation. So breaking away from religion to go to spirituality, uh, if that resonates with you. For one, you're about to realize you have telepathic communication. For one, you're about to realize you have telepathic communication. Well, congratulations. So te telepathic communication is really beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, it's spiritual communication. Uh, not spiritual, but it's in the, um, it's in the astral realm. Um, metaphysical astral realm. Telepathic communication is. Now, as long as it doesn't, you know... As long as you're mentally clear to receive the telepathic communication, it's beautiful. It can be a beautiful thing, but you have to make sure you're in your right mental mind space to receive it. 
Um, and that's just the truth. So as long as you're in the right mental mind space to receive it, it's beautiful. But it's how you receive it and send it and transmute it, basically. But you have to be in the right mental mind space to receive it. One of you guys is about to realize you have telepathic communication. So do you plug it in how it resonates? So astral realm. And for one, your mother's channel is about to grow in a huge way. They have a spiritual channel. It has already grown significantly. And for one, your mother has a spiritual channel. So a spiritual channel. YouTube. YouTube. Heavy YouTube energy. So. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Hold on a sec. Let me go with some water. Clear my uh, airway. Give me a second. I apologize. Okay, I'm so sorry. Okay. So for one of you guys, your mother has an online YouTube spiritual channel. Um, like, kind of like this, because my my, YouTube, my reading channel is a spiritual channel. Um, but it can be anything. It doesn't have to be tarot reading. It's just some kind of spiritual channel. Um, but it's your mother if this resonates for you. But she is a YouTuber. She's on YouTube, and she does a spiritual channel. Um, I heard it's about to grow in a huge way. It's already grown significantly. So her channel has already had some kind of success, but I heard it's about to grow, uh, more, a lot faster, a lot faster. It's about to grow. So her channel has already experienced success. It's about to receive, um, experience more success and it's about to grow a lot faster. It's your mother. If this resonates for you, for one, it's your mother, for one, it's your sister, for one, it's an ex lover. For one, it's someone you grew up with. So for one, it's your mother. For one, it's your sister. For one, it's your ex-lover. For one, it's someone you grew up with. Uh, this Femme Energy um, has a YouTube. She's a YouTuber and she has a spiritual channel. Whether it's your mother, your sister, um, an ex-lover, or someone you grew up with. She has a spiritual channel. It's about to start growing. It's already experienced success. It's about to experience even more success. Um, whoever this Fem Energy YouTuber with the spiritual channel is. Um, one of you guys might receive a phone call, text, email, or some kind of phone communication, possibly. Um, that's confirmation, just saying. And I, I well, I apologize. Okay. Okay. Grasshopper situation in the balance that requires careful handling. Someone tried to kill your mother in the past. Through many series of chain of events, they are about to seriously be exposed. There's lots of evidence on this. Lots of evidence. Um, for one, they it is members of your family, and you're about to find out about this. Oh, my Lord. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So for one of you, Capricorn, someone tried to kill your mother in the past. They tried to kill her. They tried to offer her. Um, I heard there's lots of evidence out in the universe supporting this, basically. There's lots of evidence out in the universe supporting that someone tried to kill your mother. Uh, I heard, uh, and I heard for some of you guys, it's actually members in her family that tried to, or y'all's family, because she's your mother. Uh, she might be your biological mother, your foster mother, or somebody you call a mother, but um, how that resonates, these are people in your family that try to kill her. Um, I heard through many series of chain events, you're about to find out. Um, uh, the information on this. Um, there is about to be huge changes here. Huge changes. It's about to come to the light soon. And it's about to positively affect you. 
Okay, I heard there's about to be huge changes, huge changes, um, and um, information is about to come to light that basically somebody tried to kill your mother, um, and the changes are going to positively affect you, Capricorn. It's your mother they tried to kill. Um, it's not you that tried to kill her. At least I hope not. I didn't hear you try to kill her, uh, but it's members of your family that plotted and conspired to try to kill her, basically. So I don't feel you tried to kill her. It's other members of your toxic family that tried to kill her. But there's evidence, lots of heavy evidence supporting the fact that they tried to kill her. And basically, the evidence is going to come to light, but it's going to positively affect you that the evidence is going to come to the light, basically, of your toxic family try, attempted murder plot on your mother in the past, basically. I think your mom might be very spiritual, or you might be very spiritual. Um, how that resonates and applies. That's terrible. Nobody should try to kill anybody. Uh, that's attempted murder. That's attempted murder. Like, I hope those people go to prison. And I'm just serious. These people didn't think this murder plot, attempted murder plot in the past, would turn into a huge deal, but it is about to. And it's about to benefit you in huge ways. You were used as collateral damage. Okay. I heard uh, your toxic family didn't think that uh, the murder plot of your mother in the past would turn into a huge thing, but I heard it's about to, and it's about to turn into a huge deal. A huge deal. A huge deal. It's about to turn into a huge deal. So confirmation, a huge deal. Um, they didn't think it would, but it's about to. And I heard it's going to benefit you in a huge way, Capricorn, whoever you are, with your mother. Somebody tried to attempt to kill probably your spiritual mother, I'm assuming. Um it's going to benefit you in a positive way because you were used as collateral damage. So you were used as collateral damage in this attempted murder plot or whatever the crap this is of your toxic family. But it, it's about to backfire on them in such a huge way. Okay, I heard it's about to backfire on them in such a huge way. So it's about to backfire on your toxic family in a huge way. Well, it should. Grasshopper, situation in the balance that requires careful handling. A Sagittarius and a Gemini is about to start acting very strange towards you. For one. For one, they are co-workers. For one, they live in your house. You're about to figure out why soon. For one, you're going to take action on this once you figure out why. A Sagittarius and a Gemini energy. Masculine or femme Sag, masculine or femme Gemini. They could have Sag or Gemini in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Moon, and Hey, which you recharged. But heard um, either they either live in your household with you or they live, uh, um, they either live in your household or they either work with you. Um, how that resonates and applies. And I feel they could be bosses or they could be um, co workers. How that resonates and applies. But a Sag and a Gemini energy, whether they live in your household, Capricorn, or you work with them as either they're either your bosses, you're their bosses, or they're co workers. Okay. But they're about to start acting very strange. Uh, I heard you're about to figure out why soon. And once you figure out why, for one, you're going to take a lot of action on why, once you figure out why they're acting strange. So I feel that can go in a positive or negative way because, you know, sometimes like positive surprises, people start acting strange. But if it's like in a negative sense, you know, I feel it can go positive or negative. Um, it really all depends on who you're around and um, and if they're shysty or they're not shysty. Um, and that's just the truth. Um, hopefully, it's like a positive surprise thing, but maybe I feel for some it's not. But however that resonates, you're going to take some action for at least one of you. Um, it's a Sag and a Gemini. Um, how that resonates and applies. Grasshopper situations in the balance that requires careful handling. So that could be your Sag and Gemini energy, whether they live. And I do, and that's another reason why I feel this is negative for a lot of you guys, because we have this card with that message. Um, if it was like a positive surprise, I feel I'd have like the happiness card up here um, or something like that. But I don't. I have situation in balance that requires careful handling. So I think this Sag and Gemini, they're acting shady, like in a negative sense, um, either at work 
or in your home and you're about to figure out why um, and for one you're going to take action so but for some it could be a positive surprise you plug it in how it resonates hopefully you transmute the energy to benefit you in a positive way um capricorn A Capricorn is about to be approached by police soon. It's about to shock you. About to ask you questions. You know now it's imperative to tell the truth and you are right. Okay, uh, police energy. Okay, so for one of you guys, police are about to approach you uh, and ask you some questions. So just police questioning. Doesn't sound like it's anything um, like apprehension or anything. It just sounds like they just want to ask you some questions. Let me pull a kid for um, It sounds like it's upcoming. It hasn't happened yet, but it's police energy. Um, so, of course, we need to respect the police. And yes, there are dirty police out in the universe. Yes, there are. We all know there are. But I didn't hear these people were dirty police. And if they are, that's on them. So the important part for you, Capricorn, is for you to tell the truth, okay? For you to tell the truth. Um, whether they're dirty police or not dirty police, that's not on you that they're dirty police. What's on you is you telling the truth, if anybody needs to hear that, okay? So I heard they um, are about to uh, approach you soon and ask you some questions. I heard it'd be very, it's imperative to tell, to tell the truth now. So it's very important to tell the truth now, and I heard you're right. Yes, it is. It's important. So you tell the truth, none but the truth. So help you God for you. Protect yourself if anybody needs to hear that, okay? Okay? So situation in the balance that requires careful ha handling. There's a reason the police are about to come ask you some questions. I heard it's very important to tell the truth now. So whatever the truth, I don't care how hard the truth is, you think it's going to come off bad or weird or embarrassing or whatever 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 you need to tell the truth they already know so much information before they come towards you so you really need to tell the truth so you are not caught in the crosshairs of this okay so for the one with the police about to come towards you i heard it's very important that you tell the truth nothing but the truth will help you god because when the police come towards you, if this ends up resonating for you, they're already going to know so much on whatever they're about to come question you about, basically. Um, they're already going to know. They're not going to tell you that they know, but they're going to know. So it's going to be very important to tell the truth because they already are going to know. So one of you guys needs to hear that with the police about to come towards you. So situation in the uh, balance that requires careful handling is the situation of the past, but they're already going to know. So you need to make sure you protect yourself and you tell, I don't care how bad the truth is, how embarrassing you think it is, or how terrible it is. You need to tell the truth because they already know. So that's for one of you guys. And I don't think it's pretty truth with this card. It is not pretty, but you, you need to tell the truth to protect yourself. Okay, I heard it's not pretty, but you need to tell the truth to protect yourself. So, one of you guys needs to hear that. The truth is not pretty, but you need to tell the truth to protect yourself. So, how that resonates? Transmuting the energy, protecting yourself. One of you guys is about to have the police come towards you. But there's a reason they're about to come towards you. It's not going to go well for other people. But you need to speak the truth. For yourself. Okay, I heard it's not going to be pretty for other people, but you need to uh, speak the truth to protect yourself. So despair. Other people are going to be in despair once you speak the truth. But the important part in this is for you to speak the truth because the police are already going to know. And let me show you. We have despair with official person underneath that. That's your police energy. Other people are going to be in despair, but the police are already going to know before they even come question you. So that's why you need to tell the truth. Protect yourself. It's going to turn the tables on other people, but you need to protect yourself because the police, I'm sure they're highly intuitive, at least I hope they are, um, but I don't think this is intuition here. I think they're actually going to get into, uh, information from a police report or something else before they come question you. That's why they're coming to question you. Uh, it's going to put other people in despair. 
Number 32 or 22 could be very significant numbers. Number 32 or 22. Owl. Owl. A very highly intuitive, intelligent person at your school is about to del deliver you very important information. It'd be very smart to take it and run, run with it to better yourself and your life and your situation. A very highly intuitive, educated person at your school. So, you know, what this could be high school, technical school, two year community. Um, Four year Ivy League, whatever this is, a very highly intuitive, educated, very highly educated, intelligent person at your school. I feel they're probably an employee at your school, Capricorn. They are an employee. They are an employee. That's confirmation. They are an employee at your school. This is your employee at your school. Highly intelligent, educated um, person at your school. They're about to deliver you some wise information with the owl energy. Uh, her to better your situation, your life, and excuse me, yourself, I heard be very smart to take it and run with it. So, um, this is your wise information from your very highly intelligent, intuitive person at um, your school. Uh, very highly educated. I heard take it and run with it. So, um, of course, you can uh, accept the spiritual downloads or not, but if I was you, I'd be taking it and run with it according to the spiritual downloads. Of course, you can take the information or leave it. One of you guys are definitely in school, so only you know if you're in school, not anybody else. Wise information. Owls are very wise and they're very intelligent. For some, it could be an air sign delivering you this information, possibly, or a water sign. But it's definite wise information from an employee, highly intelligent, wise employee at your school. I don't know if they're a counselor, a teacher, an administrator, um, the janitor. I'm not sure. But they're highly intelligent, very highly influential, and they're very highly uh, respected. And they work at your school. And they're about to help you out with the owl energy. You are 30 and below this information. I heard, okay, I heard you're 30 and below for uh, one of you and for one year minor. I did hear for one year minor. I didn't. I was thinking when I heard the download if I should put that on here, but um, I heard for one year minor, but that's a good download. So for one, you are 30 and below. You're about to get offered this information from someone at your school. So 30 and below, and for one, you are a minor, so 17 and below. So you plug it in how it resonates, okay? Octopus. Someone stole your family member's idea for a book. It's about to seriously backfire on them in huge ways. They're a huge energy sucker. Huge energy sucker. Idea sucker. It's about to backfire on them. This book is not going to do well. A Capricorn needs to hear this. Okay, so for one of you guys, Capricorns, one of your family members stole um, idea for a book from um, someone else. Um, now, whoever they stole it from, I'm not sure. But the person that stole it from, um, they stole it from, it's your family member that stole it from somebody else. Whether it's another family member or somebody else. Um, one of your family members is energy sucker. They're energy sucker, creative uh, juice sucker, idea sucker. And... 
Um, they could be a water sign or just in the octopus energy of the tentacles, steely tentacles, sucking the life force out of people. Um, they stole an idea for a book from um, somebody else, and it's one of your family members. But I heard it's about to backfire on them. I heard this book is about to not do well at all. Not well at all. It is about to tank. And many shocking, unexpected series of chain of events are about to occur with this. They're actually going to get a, get in the middle of a lawsuit about this. From someone they would have never expected. Okay, whoa. Okay, so not only did they steal an idea from a, your family member stole an idea from a book from someone else, whether it's another family member or somebody else, um, they use their steely tentacles, energy succubus, um, steely tentacles, energy sucker, um, energy to steal an idea for a book for somebody else, whether it's your, another family member or somebody else. They're about to, um, shocking, I heard the book's not going to do well, the book's not going to do well, and, um, uh, there are many shocking negative series of chain events are about to occur with this. So it's about to energy backfire on their ass in negative ways. And they're going to end up getting in a lawsuit with someone they would have never expected. And it could be over this book or over something else. But they definitely sold the idea from the book from somebody else. Whether it's another one of your family members or somebody else. They use their, their steely ass tentacle energy sucker, creative juice sucker idea. Um, energy to steal it from somebody else they need to go get their own damn ideas and that's just the truth it's your family member if this resonates for you i would hope you would know who this family member is for one you're about to be shocked your mother is about to start working for the government An air sign and a water sign is about to start helping with this in a huge way. You are about to be shocked. Heavy mother energy in here. Okay, so for one of you guys, your mother is about to start working for the government. I heard that um, she's not working for the government yet, but she's about to. Heard an air sign and a water sign is going to help with this. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio is going to help with her getting in with the government in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, is what I'm presuming. Now, this could be uh, federal level, state level, local level. How that resonates and applies but it's your mother if this resonates for you capricorn for one is your sister for one is your sister for one of you you're a subscriber of hers so for one it's your mother for one is your sister and for one you are a subscriber of hers so this person that's about to start working for the government you it's going to shock the hell out of you she's going to start working for the government you never thought she would i guess whether it's your mother your sister or you are a subscriber of hers. Um, an air sign and water sign is going to help her get in with the government or present her with the opportunity or what have you. Or I don't know, reference her or what have you, what have you. But it's going to shock you. I guess you never thought she would start working for the government. Like I said, she could work for the state government, local government, or uh, federal level. But how that resonates and applies. Um, but she's not working for the government right now, but she's about to. Okay. It this is about to create huge negative tower moments for other people. This is about to create huge negative tower moments for other people. And a Sagittarius is about to help too. And a Sagittarius. So an air sign, a water sign, and a Sagittarius is about to help your mother, your sister, or your um or somebody you watch on um you are a subscriber of theirs, get a job with the government. Um, I heard a Sag is gonna help too. So you plug it in how it resonates. I heard it's going to create negative tower moments for other people. So other people are about to be in despair once your mother, your sister, or somebody you watch and you subscribe to is about to get a job with the government, whether that's state, federal, or local. Transmutation. A Capricorn is about to start rising like the phoenix, rising like the phoenix. About to really start getting confidence in themselves, thinking for themselves. Very about to start getting very clear headed. Much truth is about to come to you. Well, that's beautiful energy, Capricorn. A caps is about to start rising like the Phoenix, rising like the Phoenix. 
So rising like the phoenix, transmuting your energy and rising like the phoenix, baby. I love it. It's like fire sign energy, but, you know, you could have fire in your chart or not. But everybody talks on every um, sign from time to time, so you don't have to have fire in your chart. But my point is, you're about to start rising like the phoenix, like true fire sign energy. And I'm a Leo sun. I'm fire sign. So I love that energy. But rising, like never giving up um, energy is what I feel. So for one, you... um. You're not going to give up. You're not going to give up. You're going to keep going and you're going to uh, transmute the energy um, in a very positive, healthy, copacetic manner. And um, uh, you're about to transmute yourself and rise like the phoenix. Um, I hope you're going to start thinking clearly, thinking for yourself, um, doing for yourself your own independent thoughts and creative juices and you're about to just move forward in a very healthy positive copacetic way who for some of you might have been co codependent in the past <coughs> excuse me or somebody made you feel like you had to be codependent or something of that nature but you're about not to take on that energy you're about to transmute the energy in a positive way and display independent creative energy to move forth out in the universe in a very healthy, positive, copacetic manner, which is really beautiful, my dear. It really is. I love it. For one, you're going to help someone get charged with abuse and exploitation. For one, you're going to help somebody get charged with abuse and exploitation. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates and for one, you're going to transmute the energy and get someone, help somebody get charged with abuse and exploitation. Well, good for you transmuting the energy in a positive way if they deserve to be charged with abuse and exploitation. Hopefully there's some kind of evidence to prove this, um, in some shape, form or fashion in the universe and they're not wrongfully accused. Uh, hopefully there's substantial evidence to, a, um, have them charged in a correct manner and not accusatory type situation is what I'm saying. Um, so uh, they really deserve it and you know it. Okay, I heard they really deserve it and you know it. Okay, so there, I think there's some kind of substantial you know, uh, evidence out in the universe. Um, I heard they really deserve it and you know it. So you're about to transmute the energy and uh, help them get charged with abuse and exploitation. It could be your, maybe you're going to be asked to write a statement or to give a verbal um, answering of questions, maybe that's the police for some of you guys. Um, maybe not, but um, there is police energy in here. But if, whether it is or isn't, you know they deserve it. So it's not an accusatory type thing. Like they really do deserve to be charged with abuse and exploitation. Ex I'm sorry, abuse and exploitation. Whether they, whether they abused and exploited you, or they abused and exploited somebody you care about, or However, that resonates. They abuse and exploited somebody out in the universe, and you're about to help transmute the energy. I heard you know they deserve it. So you plug it in how it resonates. For one, a Pisces masculine did not help in a situation in the past. They did not help, but soon they're about to help. A very serious situation in the past. And it's about to positively affect you. For one, this is a lawyer. For one, this is a nurse. For one, this is your grandfather. Okay. Heard a Pisces masculine did not help in a situation in the past. Um, they actually uh, hurt, harmed the situation. They uh, hurt it. They didn't um, help it. But I heard soon they're about to start helping you. Um, um, how this resonates and applies, whether it's your grandfather, a lawyer, or a nurse. And he could be the nurse, could be LPN, LVN, RN, CRNP, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Well, um, but he harmed the situation in the past, but now he's about to start helping you. It's a Pisces masculine. Heard it's going to positively affect you. So the energy is about to be transmuted and help you, whatever this situation is, but it's about to benefit you. He harmed the situation in the past, but he's about to help it. Whether he's your grandfather, um, uh, a lawyer, or a um, nurse. Whether he's the nurse is LPN, LVN, uh, RN, CRNP, etc., etc., etc. 
I think it's going to put other people in despair is what I feel. But you plug it in how it resonates, okay? There is about to be huge changes coming. That could be the transmutation energy too. There's about to be huge changes coming. This is kind of a long reading cap form, but I just kept getting the download, so we just kept going. Okay, so um, there's about to be huge changes coming. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. So transmutation of the energy, huge changes coming. Let's see. Spirit messages you have to plug this. Five, 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 change energy. Number 33 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 33, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number 33, concern. You are about to start rising so fast, so fast in positive ways. And for one, you have an OnlyFans. It'd be very smart to shut this down. It is not going to benefit you, even though you're making money off this. It is going to end up ruining your reputation in the future. Somebody needs to hear this. Okay, I heard for one, you're about to start rising very fast, very fast. Um, uh, I think people are going to be concerned that you're going to be rising so fast. And for one, you have an OnlyFans. Um, that, that's a very sexual site. Well, they streamlined it, but apparently people still still do very, very, very sexual things on there. So, I don't know. I don't have an OnlyFans. I never had an OnlyFans. I don't want an OnlyFans. But... One of you guys has OnlyFans. I heard to be very smart to shut it down because if you don't, it's going to end up ruining your reputation in the future. Greedy people do not want to tell you that, but it's the truth. Okay, I heard greedy people do not want to tell you that, but it's the truth. So, and it's the truth because anytime you have OnlyFans, it's never going. If unless you end up working, want to work in the porn industry, be known as a porn star the rest of your life, it's never a good idea to have OnlyFans because people are going to view you. Like a hoe. And that's just the truth. Um, and depending on who is subscribed to your channel, it could be community members that view you in the light as a hoe. Do you want to be viewed in the light as a hoe? I sure as hell wouldn't. And that's just the truth. So for one, you have an OnlyFans. Now, I don't know who you are. Only you know if you have the OnlyFans, not anybody else caps. But one of you guys has an OnlyFans, whether you're a man or a woman. I heard it be, the spiritual download in that is it'd be smart to shut it down. Because if you don't, you're going to regret it in the future because it's going to make your um, reputation decline. So I don't think you want to be known as a hoe, a prostitute, or a um, or a um, prostitute or a um, porn star the rest of your life. If you want to actually have a professional career moving forward in life, it wouldn't be smart to utilize OnlyFans in a sexual manner. Female needs to hear that because who is really watching your channel and who are the same ones that could be watching your channel now could be trying, you could be trying to apply for a job in the future with. You need to think about that. You know, yeah, it sucks working minimal wage, minimal wage at a damn fast food restaurant, but at least you have your respect intact if you're working at a, uh, and your goodies aren't displayed out to the damn universe. If you're working minimum wage at a fast food restaurant besides selling your body on OnlyFans, if anybody needs to hear that. Okay. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices, and I'm going to say.